Hi everyone, my name is Evan and I'm one of the presenters at SciTech. Like a lot of people, I am now working from home. So, welcome to my games room. You might have seen my previous video about mixing hot water with cold water. Today we're going to experiment with mixing water again, but this time we'll be investigating what happens when we mix fresh water and salty water. Let's have a look at the equipment I'm going to need for this experiment. I'm going to need these two plastic trays. This experiment can get a little messy, particularly packing it up at the end, so these are very important. I also have this clipboard. Now this may not look like much, and honestly you can use anything that's fairly smooth and firm and reasonably thin this one litre jug of water, one egg, preferably from a chicken, a generous amount of table salt, some measuring spoons, something I can use to mix or stir with, some food colouring, two different colours, and a dropper, and four large jars of water like this one. Now if you are going to try this experiment at home, try and find jars with a nice, wide, smooth, flat rim like this one. These are old coffee jars, but have a look around and see if you can find something with that same wide, smooth rim. It makes it a lot easier and a lot cleaner. Okay, let's get to it. As I showed in my last video, temperature can change the density of water. Density is how heavy something is and how much space it takes up. Something which is very dense means a small amount of it is really heavy. This is what makes hot water sit on top of cool water. Now, we can do the same thing with salt and change the density of water. Let's look at that nice jug of water we had before. So, at the moment, if I put this egg in the water, it sinks. That egg is more dense than the water around it. But we can add salt to the water, and if we add enough, the water will become more dense than the egg, and the egg will float to the top. So let's add some salt and see what happens. Now, I'm not really going to pay attention to how much exactly I add, I'm just going to make the egg float. But by all means, if you do this at home, maybe you can measure with a little more care and find out exactly how much salt it takes to float an egg in a litre of water. When we put a lot of salt like that in, a lot of it will collect on the bottom of the jar. It won't dissolve into the water. So if we give it a bit of a mix without cracking the egg, that can help. We may need a little bit more salt. And there we go. That egg is now floating. So we have added salt to our water and made it more dense. So it is now denser than this egg. I wonder what happens if fresh water and salt water meet. Let's find out. For this, I'm going to need this tray and one of these big jars of water. In fact, two of them. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make one of these jars salt water and leave the other one fresh. So just to make sure we know which one is which, we are going to have our fresh water here, just a little bit yellow. And this one, which is going to be salty, we'll make a little bit red. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add enough salt to this jar to make it about as salty as seawater. Now this jar is about two liters. So that means a tablespoon of salt will make it just about the same salinity 
as seawater. On average, of course, seawater all over the world has slightly different levels of salt in it. And we're gonna give that a little bit of a mix as well. Okay. So now to make these mix, if you've seen my other video, this should be pretty familiar, but I'm going to be using this clipboard to flip the fresh water on top of the salt water and we can see what happens. So, here we go. And now to remove this clipboard without spilling too much of our water. So this fresh water is less dense than the salt water. That means it should stay on top. And when we remove the clipboard, we should find that there's very little mixing of water. You can see there's a little bit of a plume of orange coming up through the top as there was a bit of water that fell in, but it's actually staying very separate. Nice and yellow and fresh at the top and red and salty at the bottom. The salt water is more dense than the fresh water. And so this fresh water is going to stay on top. But what happens if we do it the other way around? What happens if we have the salt water on top? We're gonna set that up again, except this time it's going to be the fresh water on the bottom and the salt water on the top. Now, this actually happens quite a bit in nature. We generally find fresh water and salt water meeting where a river runs into an ocean. We call these areas where rivers and oceans meet estuaries. The salt water is more dense than the fresh water. And that means when I remove this clipboard, it's gonna look a little different than this one. Okay, on three. One, two, three, and there we go. And you can see almost instantly that dense salt water is falling down and mixing with that fresh water. And very, very quickly, both jars of water are about the same salinity and about the same color. Let's get a nice side by side here. And look at that. So this here is called a halo climb. This happens quite a lot in nature. When a river of fresh water meets the ocean, the fresh water flows on top of the salty water until waves and wind mix it up. And sometimes if the river doesn't have a particularly strong flow, you get something called a salt wedge where the ocean water creeps upstream along the river bottom while the fresh water flows over the top of it. In fact, here in Perth, the Swan River estuary has a pretty amazing salt wedge. In summer, when there isn't much rain, the salty ocean water can creep over 50 kilometers upstream. And when those autumn rains arrive, you can get a pretty dramatic layering of fresh water on top of salt water in the river. Now this is a nice fun one to do at home. Maybe if you have some measuring scales or measuring spoons, you can try and find out exactly how much salt you need to add to uh, a liter of water to float an egg. Maybe you could see if all eggs are the same density. Is a fresh egg the same as a boiled one? Maybe the size of the egg makes a difference. Maybe there are other things you can make float by changing the density of the water with salt. I've let this experiment set up overnight just to see what would happen. So here we are more than 24 hours later and you can see that with the fresh water on top, it's still completely separated. There's no mixing at all of the fresh and salt water here. And given that they are in a completely sealed environment inside these jars, I have no idea how long they would stay like that without any mixing. If you try this at home, maybe you can find somewhere where you can leave this and see how long it takes, if ever, for these fresh and salt waters to mix. 
That's all from me. If you've had fun trying out this experiment, you can let us know on social media by using the hashtag SciTechAtHome. See you next time. Thank you.